In this video, we're testing phantom power for four XLR microphone inputs on a broadcast plate. This is one of Troy Bach Guy's inventions. It serves both as mic and a speaker. The red light indicator confirms the presence of phantom power on the XLR input. As you can see, mic one input does not confirm phantom power on the Troy Bach's testing device. By looking at the Rio, we can see the setting is correct and that mic input 1 phantom power is on. Let's unplug the XLR cable extension to the broadcast plate and confirm the phantom power with the tester. We can now confirm that the Yamaha Rio's mic input 1 has phantom power. The next step is to check the local cable XLR termination. And of course, here's the problem. The shield wire on pin 1 was not soldered. Let's focus on the solution. Choi Box Guy will solder the shield wire to pin 1. He is now tinning the shield wire. Then he will solder it to the pin 1 connector well. Let's reassemble the connector. Too much wire is exposed between the cable jacket and the connector, but we won't address that in this video. Let's plug it back into the Yamaha Rio and go back to the broadcast plate for testing. Now mic input 2 was working, but let's confirm it again and then test mic input one. Yes, phantom power is confirmed. Share and follow for more pro AV solutions.